Okay, we're going to do a two color bait here. This is an injection mold. It's a fluke type mold, just a small fish. Uh, I heated up my plastic, which I showed you some of on a different video. Now, to keep my plastic warm, you can see I use these little pieces of, uh, they're like heat pads is what they're really for to put pots and pans on. And I also put my stuff on there to keep them from tearing up the surface too bad. This surface doesn't really matter, but... It's a little bit thicker than I want it. We'll give it a go anyways. So I, I just want this to look like uh, bait fish. Yeah, it's a little too thick. You get the hang of this after a while. Uh, if you guys, you know, when you, if you don't have laminate plates, just pour the bait. The fish don't know if you used a laminate plate or not. Do a little experimentation. Sometimes you can't get laminate plates for the baits that you want. You know, a lot of times you can get close enough with what you have at hand. This one here, I overran the mold a little bit. So I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to try to pour it again. My plastic's just a little cooler than what I want. You kind of get a feel for that after a while. should pour just a little bit smoother than that. And this cup is super hot. Okay, that's close enough. Fish aren't going to know. The main thing I main issue I had a second ago, the reason why I report that is because it was overfilling the mold and I need my mold halves to ma mate act, uh, obviously. If there's a piece of plastic in there, they won't. Okay, so here's part A. <clears throat> this mold is a little weird. There's no alignment pins on the inside, they're on the outside. And I just stuck those in backwards, but that's just between you and me. Okay, I'm aligned tightened, ready to go. Now I need my second color. And see, this color here, I was keeping hot the same way as I just showed you on the other one. My spoon cooled off. Uh, it's got most of its heat. I'm going to just stick it in there for another 20 seconds. If you keep the heat, you can keep the heat in the plastic much more efficiently than you can heat and heat it all the way up, let it cool all the way off, heat it all the way up, let it cool all the way off. Just keep it hot. It takes a little practice and a little dancing, so to speak. But it really makes it a lot easier to get the work done that you want to get done. I don't even know if I have enough plastic here to fill my injector. Okay, so now we're back up to temperature. Let's see if we can make something out of this. And that's all she's going to take. Top it off a bit. I had a color I was experimenting with a little bit ago. I was trying to make a, a real good earth tone and I screwed it up, put too much black in there. And when I do that, I usually just turn that color into black. So I added a few more drops. This is going to be a little bit light, but like I said, the fish don't care. 
close enough. This should look like a, a nice shad when I when we're done here. We'll give it a little bit to cool off and open it up. Now, if I was doing a large batch of these, I would immediately put my cover back over my plastic. And that'll hold the heat in. It's amazing what that little bit will do to hold heat. And it's not even a tight seal. There's a gap all the way around. But that will hold a tremendous amount of heat in there to help you keep your plastic warm. Those cups are very efficient. Let's see if any of these came out here. Okay, so there you go. You got you a nice uh, shad, like a gizzard shad. Um, the other one's escaping me right this second, but they the, the color markings are very similar. But these are very uh, common shad in the south. I prefer solid black on top. These are a little bit light. That's just my preference. But you can see, no laminate plate needed. I got me a nice two-color bait. I've done the same thing with, uh, made like a sunfish color, watermelon on top, chartreuse on the bottom. Makes an excellent, excellent little sunfish looking bait. But you don't have to have all of the fancy equipment to make the stuff you want to make. You just have to think about it a little bit and start pouring. These will be perfect out on the water.